The Suleiman Mosque was built on the order of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. The construction work began in 1550, and the mosque was finished in 1557, and was designed by the greatest architect of his time, Mimar Sinan. Like all big and important mosques of that period, this mosque was built as a complex including a hospital, library, madrasa, kitchen, hospice for the poor, baths, and shops. It's one of the best examples of Ottoman Islamic architecture in Istanbul. This vast religious complex blended Islamic and Byzantine architectural elements. It combines tall, slender minarets with large dome buildings supported by half domes in the style of the Byzantine church, Hagia Sophia. Looks like a prayer service just ended. Let's see if I can go inside. Entering the mosque, we had to wait until after the prayers were over. Wow. <laughs> the interior of the mosque is almost a square, 194 feet in length and 190 feet in width forming a single vast space. The interior decoration is subtle with very restrained use of Iznek tiles unlike the Blue Mosque. So we have to stay over here. This is where the prayers take place when they do take place. Beautiful. The mosque was ravaged by a fire in 1660 and was restored by Sultan Mehmed IV. Part of the dome collapsed again during the earthquake of 1766. Subsequent repairs damaged what was left of the original decoration of Sanan. Recent cleaning has shown that Sanan experimented first with blue before turning to red as the dominant color of the dome. Sanan decided to make a radical architectural innovation to mask the huge buttresses which he needed to support the building. He incorporated the buttresses into the walls of the building with half projecting inside and half projecting outside and then hit the projections by building colonnaded galleries. There is a single gallery inside the structure and a two-story gallery outside. This looks like a cemetery. I assume these are headstones. So from here you can see the other side. And that on the right is the Bosphorus River. 